So if you come in in the morning, this is the seating that's available and the, the store, the general store will be open. So as we think about it here, think farm to table, think um, Arkansas foods, uh, think uh, uh, breads, cheeses, uh, maybe a, a, a lunch menu. Hopefully, you know, the chamber or Rotary or Lions or whoever is coming in and, and uh, doing a, uh, a special meeting of some kind. And that, that we want people to just find it to be comfortable. That was rapid fire. That's what we're planning to do. And we're having some fun that, that it started with this building. Um, the university acquired this building and another building. Uh, and then the city asked us to consider doing something with this one. Um, so we did a very um, curious uh, property swap where we pieced some things together and moved it around and that was nearly two years ago. About five years ago, um, the University of the Ozarks Board of Trustees okay. um, charged the administration with investing in Clarksville and Johnson County beyond our traditional borders. Okay. And, and what we did is that we started looking at where were there opportunities that if we invested, brought our expertise, our financial acumen, our also financial stability, if we were to bring that to parts of Clarksville, where could we enhance the experience for our faculty, our staff, our students, and the kinds of people that, that come to, to Clarksville. So that we've moved into spaces that we know we can do well, spaces that students can be employed, and spaces where we didn't want to cause harm to pre-existing family-owned businesses. We are part of this community, so if we can partner with people, uh, if we can help them be, be more, serve our community, we're going to step into that space. We're able to look at the different ways that, that funds come into the community. Um, and that, yeah, if this, if this employs 20 students and that makes it a little bit easier for them to pay their, their tuition bills, if it employs somebody and they're able to pay rent, uh, if there's a profit at the end of the year and I'm able to put that back into scholarships or other maintenance projects, it allows us to keep the price of, of education affordable. And, and that's a guiding principle of the, the University of the Ozarks.